It is March 18th. If you didn't know, there's a pandemic. Um. <coughs> also, in love with this beautiful art piece, my dad painted it in college. And now it's mine. I love it. This is the bag I'm taking to Hawaii. It's a beach bag. It's very heavy. And I don't know if this is going to break, but I'm going to like try to keep it on top of my carry-on that I'm bringing. So I'm in a pretty good mood today, but honestly, life sucks. Like, no, I'm being dramatic. I'm not, actually, no, I'm not. It's literally a pandemic. Oh, I'm gonna put on these socks and, I don't know, I always see people wearing, like, you know, the tall Nike socks and it's so cute. But I just feel like, I don't know how to pull it off. <laughs> Oh god, this looks so bad. <laughs> By the way, the reason I'm going to Hawaii is because my parents are there and as I told you guys, everyone has left and I don't want to be alone and I want to see my family and I was going to go to Hawaii anyways for spring break. Oh, I have this like huge art project that's due like the 31st and I get back to Florida on the 31st. Thank God I don't have any textbooks. Like they're all online on my laptop. I was going to have an internship and I went through two stages of interviews to get it. Like it's a corporate internship. It's like a whole program. I was so excited about it. And then um, I got a call that like they're on a hiring freeze and the internship is canceled and I know like some people might be like losing their jobs so like that's way more serious but I'm just really upset because I don't know I didn't think it was gonna get canceled I was like whatever it's fine like but nope it was canceled so now I have no idea what I'm doing this summer I don't know where I'm working or what I'm doing all right I'm ready to go peace out to my apartment and possibly Mainland America. I'm not gonna touch that because gross. So I'm just gonna sit. And hopefully I don't fall. Wash your hands. The airport is like legit empty and every time I see someone cough their lungs out, I get a little scared. My vlog set up Arsh. I changed into my chacos because um, I am sweating and these are like closed toed so obviously like it's more fabric. Yeah, it's so empty and my flight doesn't start boarding for another two hours. This is the Orlando International Airport so they typically, it's typically like packed. Like I'm not even kidding you, I have been in like I swear half a mile long lines for like TSA and there was like two people in front of me. I don't want to cough. Like, I don't want to scare anyone. I'm trying to not, like, touch anything, and I'm realizing, like, how much, like, your stuff touches other stuff that other people touch. It's always freezing in airports, especially this one, and today it is, like, 90 degrees in here, and I decided to wear sweatpants, and I'm uncomfortable. Now I'm gonna have to, like, live in my own sweat for the next 13 hours. I just got so much work done. I edit, I finished editing the entire third part of the India vlog. It's like mid-March and I still haven't uploaded the last India vlog and I literally went there in January. And so many people are commenting like, oh, coronavirus. And I'm like, no, this is like a two month old vlog. It's literally empty. Got the whole row to myself. So it is now April 5th and I am still in Hawaii. If you're wondering why I didn't wear a mask or anything while I was flying, like at the time, at least to me or like Americans, I think in general, like it wasn't as serious. I still had the mentality like, oh, whatever, like I don't even care if I get it. But obviously that's like not at all the mentality anymore. I was like 100% gonna go back to Florida at the end of spring break. And then um, my parents were like, we don't want you to go back to Florida. It's not safe to fly. You're just going to have to stay here. And 
like what's the point of me going back for a month so i was like yeah you guys are right like it sucks but they're right so now i'm here canceled my trip got a voucher the only problem is as you saw i brought my tiny little carry-on bag and i did not prepare like you know if you go move back home for the summer you bring all your stuff back or at least a majority of it but since i thought i was gonna be here for two weeks i did not bring like all i brought all my bikinis um three jean shorts a pair of workout shorts and two sports bras and like all my crop top if i were to you know want to get a summer job or something i don't have any like appropriate clothes that i could wear for like anything besides going to the beach and hanging out at home i'm sweating sorry it's really hot and we don't have air conditioning so the house that my parents are living in that i came here to visit them in is completely like we bought it as a tear down or not tear down because we're not completely tearing it down but like a renovation it's not complete at all the first week i was here we used a porta potty that we had in our driveway because we didn't have a bathroom so yeah but thank god we got a toilet installed so we're moving up in the world and um we didn't have any hot water so and like we don't have a shower inside so my mom like made the shower outside i'll show you guys in a different video it's super cute but there's no hot water and the water here is really cold because it's like i don't know where it's coming from but it's really cold water okay my first night when i landed in hawaii i landed at like 7 p.m but it was like already dark out and i went to shower because obviously i just flew for a while so it was disgusting and oh my god i literally i was like joking i felt like i was on naked and afraid because i'm just like outside in wilderness it was so windy and it was honestly chilly and the water was freezing i was like oh my gosh it was very painful to shower now we have hot water and we have a toilet and we're happy so like in the background of my videos if my house doesn't look very put together it's because it's not and i forgot to mention that there's like this hole in the ceiling from where a pipe was and they had to remove it and my dad stuck a salsa container up there so like water wouldn't leak through when it rained and it's just so funny to me and you can see like the little price tag of like how much this salsa costs i have like my little vlogging tripod but my actual tripod is at home but like obviously i am very grateful and blessed to be stuck in paradise as my dad keeps on saying and like it's great it's fun and all but it's just like i don't know anyone here i can't even hang out and like go play Places to meet people because we're quarantined oh and i don't have like any makeup all i have is my lipstick clear brow gel tinted moisturizer yeah that's it so my eyelash curler sucks so i might have to go pick up some mascara from target or like eyeliner because i don't know i just like you don't need makeup here but like to film videos i feel like if you wear no makeup it just like looks so Oh, and we didn't have any Wi-Fi, and so like for my online classes, I had to use my hotspot. And after literally the first day, it ran out, so we finally got Wi-Fi installed, so I can upload videos. So amazing! Whoa, speed racer, <laughs> Ford SUV just like spit sped down the road. It's like a freaking McLaren or something. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on my life. Um, hopefully. I'll be able to film a lot of videos now that I'm here in Hawaii. I mean, I don't have like a tripod, but I did just get a GoPro. So I wanna use the GoPro for like surfing and stuff. Comment below if you have any video ideas and what you wanna see here. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe and not too, you know, upset because I know this situation sucks for everyone. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video because I promise I will upload consistently because I have nothing else to do besides homework. Peace. Yeah. Try and get no, try and get no, hobby free your soul, hobby free your soul. I might have caught the June blues.